Hey, what's going on, JJ Crew? Now, there's been a lot of drama surrounding Cyberpunk since release, but with the 1.2 update on the horizon, it's about time to start jumping back into the game. So today, we'll be looking at some of the best mods the Nexus currently has to offer. Now, no one thinks of the genre of Cyberpunk without thinking of Blade Runner. So why don't we bring a bit of Blade Runner into Night City? Modder AK47OG has been doing just that with his Blade Runner 2077 Complete Texture mod. Changes a bunch of adverts and flyers into ads and posters from the movies, as well as a hollow map of LA above fast travel points. I've always enjoyed mods that add in real world elements as well, like the ads you could get in GTA 5. So seeing science for brands like Pioneer or JVC makes things all the more immersive. He also has a rain mod called Better Finer Rain that should be added to the complete texture mod at some point. It definitely adds more layering to the rain effect and I combine it with the climate change mod by Esynthi to replace the sunny sky in the weather cycles with rain to give the game that Blade Runner aesthetic. It also have, has options for pollution and fog among a few others but you're only able to select one as they currently replace one weather condition rather than being added to the cycle. It's definitely a nice addition though if you're looking for a particular look or atmosphere. Now while we don't have any Blade Runners in Cyberpunk, we do have the next best thing, Netrunners. Okay, so they're not exactly the same, but they do have some pretty unique outfits and with Eagle on X custom, in, custom Netrunner suits you can make them look that much cooler. Even better is that it works for both male and female run Netrunners, which is not something you can say for all the Cyberpunk clothing mods. This is another replacement mod though, so you must pick and choose which looks you like the best. I went for the glass fiber, glitch latex, hexagon, white, and matte black, and the plain black and gold options, and I have to say that I am very pleased with the results. It definitely adds a bit of flair and style to the Netrunner's arsenal. There's a lot of styles and variety in the clothing available in Cyberpunk, but why don't we kick it, kick it up a notch with Shinigami's Hollow World. This is another replacement mod that adds a ton of holographic and animated fashion and fashion wear options to the game. Unfortunately, the set is feminine only, but it does add a lot of new options and makes cl clothing look that much more unique and Cyberpunk, so to speak. Just make sure to RTFM or read the freaking manual as there's a few options you'll have to pick from, but you should be able to figure that out just from the file structure while installing the mod. Clipping is possible though, especially using other mods, so just be aware of that and maybe do some testing before you commit fully to the mod. Now, I can't lie, I was never a fan of how Misty looked in the normal game, although it did suit her character. Mostly it was the hair, but if we're getting to modding Cyberpunk, we might as well go all out. So we're using a couple of different mods to overhaul her look. The first is Alternate Clothes from Saracen. I went with the Club Gold option, and we're also using the Misty Appearance Overhaul by S'mores2012, which, in the artist's words, turns her into the goth babe she was always meant to be. No arguments here, it's a definite improvement. I guess I just want to do Jackie a favor before he shuffled off this mortal coil. I also added some more UI mods, Simple Menu, and the Edge Runner's Bazaar. I'll go into more detail for these in a future video, but I was able to use Simple Menu with Respector to give myself a New Game Plus experience by transferring the stats of my previous character to my new V, and setting her to level 3 with all of her previous attributes and perks still in place. It should make for an interesting playthrough, so if you're Wanting to see that, make sure to follow me on Twitch, as I'll be diving into that after patch 1.2 is released. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, be looking forward to more in the coming weeks. We'll be trying to do at least one a week. So if you did like this video, make sure to hit like, and also subscribe to the channel for more content, and uh, just to support us. And also, like I said earlier, follow us on Twitch as well. So we'll see you all. Have a great week. Bye-bye.